But before you go and spend a whole bunch of money on a really expensive Apple case, let's have a look at the available options. I'm gonna be scoring four different types of iPad cases based on their overall protection, functionality, and visual design. I'm gonna start with Apple's popular but really expensive Magic Keyboard case, which comes in at about $350. Now this one's a little awkward because I actually bought this one before realizing how little protection it offers your device. The case wraps around the front and back, offering some scratch resistance, but it still leaves the sides pretty open. And while the build and material quality is pretty good, if you drop your iPad in this case, it will not help you because it offers no drop resistance whatsoever. To make things worse, because the case is so expensive, while your iPad's in here, you want to be even more careful with it to make sure you don't damage your $350 keyboard. In terms of overall protection, I think I have to give this one a one out of five because it's the only case on this list that makes me feel even more anxious about dropping my iPad. But while it isn't the most protective of cases, it does offer some unique functionality and basically turns your iPad into a laptop. As a keyboard, it's pretty much perfect. It's got a great touchpad, clean keys, and it's easy to attach your iPad to. It also works really well as a stand, which can be angled if you're trying to watch stuff on your device. I will say though that when your iPad is attached to it, you can't really use it as a tablet, if that makes any sense. Because the iPad is quite rigid and locks into certain positions, you can't just like fold it back and use your iPad as you usually would. You'd have to take your iPad off of the case, which will again leave it unprotected. Functionality is a four out of five. I think it is really great that it can turn your iPad effectively into a laptop, but the fact that you need to take the iPad off of the case to use it like a tablet again isn't so great. Another good thing about this case is the design, which of course is technically subjective, but I do think it looks really good and is made to the high quality standard you'd expect of an Apple product. So I'm gonna be giving design a four out of five. Quick note here that there are a number of different options available for each style of case I've mentioned in this video. The Logitech Combo case is a good example of a keyboard style alternative, but I'll be leaving links to all these products and their alternatives at different price points in the description box down below. Moving on from the most to the least expensive case, a flip style cover from Jetic, which for $15 is actually not that bad. While it doesn't offer the best protection, it is kind of a slight step up from the Magic Keyboard. Again, we get that front and back scratch resistance, but we also get some plastic here on the sides to help protect the edges. This is what I'd call bare minimum protection for your iPad. And if you are someone that doesn't drop their devices that much, this is probably actually all you need, but I'm still gonna give this one a two out of five for overall protection. Now, while this isn't the most protective case, functionality wise, it covers your basics really well. The cover flips all the way to the back when you do wanna use your device and actually folds really neatly into this small stand, which slightly raises your iPad, making it easier to watch or type stuff on. The simplicity of this case is what it does really well. And if I was scoring based on value for money, this one would definitely score a lot higher. For functionality, I'd give it a solid three out of five, which for a $15 case is really good, but there is no denying that it is still a cheap looking cover. I don't really like these flip style cases, which I think look a little too basic. The materials are okay, and I guess it's at least designed in a way which doesn't block your charging ports or speakers. I wanna give this one a design score of one out of five, to be honest, but since it does come in a variety of different colors, I'll give it a two out of five. Unlike the humble flip style cover, this next one is a minimal yet potentially quite flashy one from Caseify. And this is actually my personal favorite case, which pretty much never leaves my iPad. It's probably worth mentioning here that this video is not sponsored by Caseify or any of the other brands that I've mentioned. In fact, less than 1% of you watching my videos have subscribed. So it's probably gonna be a while to anyone sponsors my videos. Until then, let the unfiltered reviews continue. Right now, this is the most protective case I own. Caseify has been a popular brand for a while and have some good technology inside their cases. This impact model also features these rubber corners, which offers further protection for your device. If overall protection is a priority for you, I definitely recommend a more rugged style case like this one. 4.5 for overall protection with half a point being lost because it does leave your screen open to scratches. Now for some of you, this case will be perfect, but its biggest downside is the fact that it is just a case. It really can't do anything else except keep your device safe. Personally, I think it's a great case, but there are definitely cheaper alternatives that offer similar levels of protection while offering more functionality. Again, I'll be leaving links to some alternative options in the description below, but this one from Caseify gets a two out of five for functionality. A pretty low score because it is just a case, but that doesn't mean it's basic or boring. 
They have a ridiculous amount of designs for literally everyone. Casetify also regularly collaborate with other designers, so they often end up having some pretty sick artwork on their cases. I know it's a little superficial, but I do think it's important to get a case that you actually like the look of. If you don't like your case, you might just end up not using it. Five out of five for design because of the fact that they are constantly coming out with new versions. So this is the final case I want to talk about and I may have saved the best till last here. It's a carrying bag style case from TomTok and in terms of protection, while it's not as sturdy as the one from Caseify, it's still really good. We get a hard shell case, also drop tested to a military standard and it's ideal for carrying around your iPad. By itself, I'd say it's like a four out of five for overall protection. But because this particular case by TomTok has a little extra space in the iPad compartment, it's large enough to fit an iPad with a case on inside it. If we take the extra protection into consideration, I would be tempted to bump it up to a five out of five, but to keep things fair, we'll just keep it at four. I do still think this case is sick though because of how useful it is. Functionality, straight five out of five. As well as fitting your iPad in it, it has a number of different straps and compartments which can store whatever you like. I mainly use it to store external hard drives, which I think is perfect for an iPad because I know a lot of us work from external SSDs. It's even able to store a magic keyboard in this compartment if you do happen to own one. Once you've accessed what you need, you can just zip up the case and keep it moving with the handle on the outside. It's all very functional. The only thing holding this case back, again, in my opinion, is the design. Functionality wise, I think it's basically perfect, but it's just kind of boring to look at. And the variety of different colors it does come in are all kind of nothing special. Design, I'd have to give it a three out of five. Overall, I would say that isn't an absolute best case, but for what it's worth, here are the scores of all the case types, as well as who I think each case type is best for. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Sub if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.